ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another video. And today I have a Wyatt Talks Techie for you guys. So, um, let's get started, shall we? First off, I'm happy, as you have read, um, Infinite Warfare. It's... Okay. I... I don't support, um, I don't support Call of Duty, I don't support Activision. Now, be that person that just comments below, oh my god, Wyatt, why do you hate Call of Duty? They did nothing wrong and they make a lot more money than you do, meaning I make $10 a day compared to, you know, them. And to be honest, I'm... I don't care. I'm just like what? I'm just a poor little boy in middle school, and I, I, how could I be jealous of a multi-million um, business? I can't be. But I definitely am angry. Activision has definitely taken it too far. Um, Infinite Warfare has gotten so many dislikes. I think it's either the second most disliked or the most disliked. If you guys hear something wrong with my voice, I yelled a lot at baseball today. So, yeah, it sounds pretty bad. I can't sing. But, um, you know. So, all that happened. Here's what I gotta say. To be honest, you guys had it coming. The pre-order numbers have dropped. From what? You guys averaged a 200,000 average for pre-orders? <laughs> that was 30,000 sound. Now that may not sound like a lot to you guys, but that's a lot less than what they're getting, and that's a lot less funding. Meaning, my dream is coming true, and Activision is starting to realize, Oh crap, you can't put out content that is the same every single time. Because, you know, you can't do that, because, you know. And there's just so many futuristic games today, and I think that's really the one game that pushed it. I mean, first it was Advanced Warfare from Call of Duty, and I admit, I was excited for that. I did buy it. <sighs> I bought it only because my friends were, and I got an Xbox, and I'm like, oh, I want to become part of this person, race, persona, per se. But then I realized, oh crap, that's a really bad way to live for me because I kind of want good grades and stuff. You know, yeah, I don't want to be a kid that's failing thanks to his Xbox. So, all in all, I really did not use um, Advanced Warfare. But while I did play it, here's what I had to say bad game. I did not enjoy it at all. Weapons were overpowered. And the exosuit, sure it has potential. But. Spam much? This is kind of reminding me of Overwatch in a way. I mean, pff, Overwatch is, it looks like a great game. I have not played it, but again, I don't seem interested in it because of Team Fortress 2. And I kind of am. TF2 is like my sole game. I, I live and I would die for that game. Mm, maybe not go that far. But pretty darn close. I love that game. I would probably lose a limb if I had to. But, you know. Um, I just think that the futuristic thing... It, it's not interesting. I'm sorry. If we don't know what it's going to be like, then we don't know. We don't know how it's all going to work. We don't know. No, we don't know if it's even going to be true. And there you go. The gimmick was to have Modern Warfare come with the purchase. You know, it was a, a pretty smart plan. But is that all worth it? Is getting some crappy game? What is it going to cost? I don't even know the going rate for that stuff now. It used to be sixty dollars for it on. Xbox 360, but that's out of commission now, so what? 
Seventy dollars? I haven't been checking lately. You know, I I search it up right now. Here. Okay, so it is all still sixty dollars, which compared to the old prices for a video game that I used to get, for just fifty dollars I could get the newest Mario Bros. <laughs> Bad comparison, am I right? I mean, sure, that's ten less dollars, but ten less dollars towards what I consider a better game. Heck, I would still play Super Mario Land any time of the day over any Call of Duty. Except for maybe MW2. See, that's the thing. Modern Warfare gets so much credit and they got... They thought they were so smart pulling this gimmick out. I don't think so. I mean, I'm a little late again, once again, to the party, but... I kind of do that to myself. Because, you know, I want information over this and I... I look at it all, I read all the articles I can, watch all the videos I can, you know, I get it down before I can cr create my general opinion, but do what Ubisoft has done. Literally, all it's going to take is just, what, three or two years of rest for the franchise. You can let your one game gain up as much money as it can, because you guys just kill the last game you've made. Okay, we've got Advanced Warfare here. Oh, Black Ops 3. Kill the servers for uh, Advanced Warfare. No, they didn't kill the servers, but I'm pretty sure they, like, they canceled something. I know they did. I may not have studied up on that part. But I do have to say that I get its business. I understand you have a fan base. But think of the other fraction of whatever fan base you're trying to cater to. I would go ahead and think that maybe they don't want to spend all that money. I sure wouldn't. Anyways, guys, enjoyed this video. Leave a like and comment below what you would like me to do next time. And if you're interested in the guitar nerf techniques, then please subscribe. It's free. Anyways. Bye, Rita. This time, too. Peace out. Bye-bye.